Ladies and gentlemen, day two of the Gotham Hoops Classic, game two between Rock Top Academy and our savior, Lutheran Prep, is about to get underway. Starting lineups for Rock Top Academy are Marco Seppo, EJ Greer, Rock Top Academy out of Pennsylvania against OSL Prep, our savior Lutheran in New York. Listen, man, you, so, know, you know my guy, Greg Paul is 2.0. Greg Paul is 2.0, that is exactly who he's talking about. Let's talk about the starting lineup of Rock Top Academy. It's Ryan Archie who impressed yesterday at the point guard position with Louis Vidal, EJ Greer, the star, Marco Keppo, and Daniel Charlot there for Rock Top. And then for OSL, it's Sadu Traore, Isaiah Phil Best, Elijah Hernandez with Ryan Williams and Amari Cribb rounding out the starting five for OSL. This is set to be a big one. I'm excited for this one. I was preparing for this one since yesterday. OSL Prep and Rock Top have always been two incredibly good programs. This should be a really exciting athletic game. Yeah, it's gonna be great, man. Can't wait. So it'll be Daniel Charlo and Amari Cribb here for the tip. Start with OSL. So there's Phil Best. And clock issues. Clock issues. <laughs> we have fun here. We have fun here. All right, here we go. So So OSL, it looks like it will be Elijah Hernandez taking it out for OSL. And here we go. They're still best. Over to Hernandez. So they're probably pressing early. Traore, three, off the mark, rebounded, Greer pushing and tipped and turned over. Here's Hernandez, the three, off the mark there. And another turnover, very fast pace to start. Hernandez, underneath, it's Crib. turnover. Archie, working, kicks outside, it's Keppo. Vidal, thought about it, Greer. Vidal in the corner, Archie, drives, Good turned over again. Great defense. Traore, Hernandez. Picked up by Vidal. Up and good, Sadu Traore. He just looks like a man of the boys around here. 6'6". Six, six. Has an NBA body already, Mike. Almost poked away. Phil Best saved it. Drive, Great right game. hand, can't finish. Just off the mark by Ryan Williams. Ryan Archie had a great game yesterday. Let's see what he can do today, Mike. He's got a tough matchup today against yes, OSL. Does. Yes, he does. Archie, three, off the mark. Rebounded, here we go, pushing. Intercepted by Keppo. Keppo driving, left hand. Marco Keppo just cannot get the roll. Fast pace, we're through two minutes already, and we only have one basket, it's from Treori of our, our Savior Lutheran. That's all we've got so far. A little frantic, a little frantic on both sides. But we always kind of see that to start the game and then it kind of settles down. Here's Vidal. 
Archie, mid-range jumper, off shot. mark. Greer, rebound, puts it back up. No good, and Rock Top cannot find the basket early. Hernandez, working. Dumps it off, Williams from the baseline, good for two. Nice. Ryan Williams knocks that one down, a 6'9 guard is what he's listed as. Unbelievable. Looks like there's a change being made for OSL as Mike Mendez is checked in for Amari Cribb. Greer hoists up a three. Just off the mark, offensive board, Charlo. Here's Archie. Charlo. Archie up top. They're in the zone. Greer. For three, outside, it's Keppo, no good. And Vidal loses it underneath. Three, good, bang! Early time Knocks off the Knocks down the triple. OSL getting that shot there by Isaiah Philbest. Archie inbounding. Goes to EJ. EJ Greer. Underneath Charlo. Outside, it's Harbeck. And just off the mark on the three. Traore. Good turnover, Harbeck, here comes EJ, 2v1. Loses the ball but draws the foul. So EJ Greer now has an opportunity to get Rock Top on the board. They're gonna call the foul here on Isaiah Philbest. Greer off the mark on the first and Rock Top again just struggling offensively so far. We are more than halfway through the first quarter and Rock Top has yet to put up points. It's still early, they can they can get themselves settled, but they just have to take their time, not play so familiar. We saw a little bit of this yesterday. Greer makes the second. 7-1, here's the score. Marco Keppo is getting a call for this, is getting a call for the reach on Elijah Hernandez. So what are you seeing early from OSL? I mean, the athleticism is just crazy on their end right now. Definitely, they're, they're, you know, they're very, they're, you know, in regards to the size match, they're very, they're very tall. They're very tall at, at pretty much every position. Um, they, they're, they're very athletic on the, on the defensive end. And they're moving the ball a lot as well. Um, I, th I think Rock, great move. How about that from Ryan Archie, yeah, a continuation of what we saw yesterday. We saw a lot of that yesterday as well. So, you know, he has to get back to that game. No matter what the competition is, he has to continue to be aggressive. Hernandez, pump fake, mid-range, good. Elijah Hernandez buries that one from mid-range. 9-3 in favor of OSL. EJ, good defense. and a great tip there by Mendez to deflect the pass intended for Charlo, who was wide open underneath the basket. They move well, they move well defensively. Underneath, tried to sneak a pass in, gets Charlo, and it'll end up in the hands of OSL. Elijah Hernandez, Euro step, kicks out. Phil Best, corner three, off the mark, ball in the air, rebounded by Harbeck. Archie, looking for something. Charlo, Good underneath. Give and go. Great give and go. And Ryan Archie draws the foul again. And like we saw yesterday, Barry, it is, it is Ryan Archie who is be the catalyst yeah. for this Ryan offense so far. Listen, the, the offense is stagnant. They're getting pressured, they're getting trapped. And he's finding scenes and trying to make things work. So, you know, he's definitely making things happen for Rock Top. Off the mark on the free throw. Isaiah Philbest will check out. Skyler Winnick checks in for OSL. Knocks down the second. 9 4. It's not a blowout. OSL has the advantage here. But uh, listen, both teams right now not. not uh, excelling offensively. 
to what we're used to. Right. Here's Hernandez, drives left, finds space, kicks outside, Williams, Treori. He pulls up for three, off the front iron, rebounded by Greer. Greer pushing, Keppo. Good Finds take. space, Marco Keppo a with a very take. nifty finish. That was a great take. We saw some positives out of Marco Keppo yesterday, the Argentinian of Rock Top. I mean, the, the one thing about him is that he will not stop. He, he's always going to be playing at a fast pace, aggressive. He's always going to push it. Those are the type of guards that you don't want to play. Hernandez dumps it off Williams underneath. Nice find for Winnick in the corner. Good. Skyler Winnick knocks it down in the corner. It's a good closeout, though. Archie Greer tries to answer back. Off the back iron in the hands of OSL. Breaking quickly. Mendez. Winnick recovers the errant pass. Hernandez covered by Janik Harbeck. Switched on to Archie. Here's Hernandez. Step back three. Bang! Elijah Hernandez. What a nice shot. That was nifty. Under a minute to go here in the first. 15-6 OSL and Rock Top has possession. Rock Top in the black, OSL in the yellow. Archie for three. Just off the mark. EJ with the rebound. Up and foul. And that's EJ what I, Greer. That's what I need to see him do more, Mike. He settles a lot for open, so for outside jump shots and, and mid ranges, he needs to get to the basket and make something happen. So I think uh, you can probably agree with me on this, I'm sure, because uh, EJ Greer is the most athletically gifted player on the Rock Top side. It, he's going to need to have a big game today in order to keep Rock Top in the game. He's, he's got to at least put pressure on the defense to allow things to start to open up for his teammates. But if he's going to just settle for jump shots, it's going to be a, it's going to be a long day for Rock Top. So 15-8, and EJ Greer has a shot to make this a six-point game. 42 and a half seconds remaining on the clock. And knocks down free throw. OSL making a couple of changes. Brian Williams checks out. Sadu Traore checks out. And we're going to see a couple of other starters come back into the game. Amari Cribb and Isaiah Philbest are checked back into the game. So here's Philbest right here, guarded by Archie. And an offensive foul off the ball. And Rock Top will take possession. Elijah Hernandez called for the foul. And he'll be checked out. Ryan Williams right back in for OSL. Here's Archie. Outside Charlo. Thought about the outside shot. There's Keppo. Marco Keppo gonna get called for the walk. Just one extra step. Extra step. Clock stops at 18 seconds, it's 15-9. He definitely got caught in between of what he was trying to do. Wanted to be aggressive, saw his open man, and got caught up. Good defense. Phil Best over to Williams. Williams off the leg of Charlotte. It's going the other way. Archie, hesitation, good. Finish with the left hand. Ryan Archie doing it again as time expires. And what did you know it, Barry Grant Jr.? A 15-11 game after Rock Top was struggling so hard to get the ball in the basket in the first half of the first quarter. But now they're sitting here in a four point game against one of the best teams in New York. Again, 15-11 in favor of OSL. For those of you just joining us, OSL in the yellow, Rock Top in black. Keppo. Harbeck, Archie. Archie hoists up a three. Bang! How about that to start out the second quarter? Ryan Archie buries it. Hey, Mike, he's really good. Did you know that? <laughs> he might be. He, <laughs> he just might be. Here goes Turnover. Keppo. Keppo. Greer. Here we go. High off the glass, but draws the foul. That's what I want to see from Greer. Be aggressive. So 
E.J. Greer gets fouled on the fast break. And he will head to the line. 7.32, we're only 30 seconds in to the first, uh, into the second quarter. Rock Top has tied the game with that free throw. It is now 15 apiece. One other thing that I'm noticing as well, Mike, is that Rock Top is playing with a bit more aggression. I think, I think OSL, they, they are, they're a little bit in the, in the malaise. You know, they're, they're not playing as aggressive. Like, what are your thoughts on that? Oh, I agree. I think the energy is a little bit higher on the Rock Top side. Yeah. So that free throw from Greer gives them a 16-15 lead. Williams, Phil Best. Nice pass fake. Opens up the three, no good. Rebounded by Williams. Baseline. And tipped finally into the hands of Janik Harbeck. Here's Archie. Greer hoists up a triple. Bang! E.J. Greer. He has that ability, Barry Grant. Yes, he does. And right now, Rock Top starting the second quarter on an 8 nothing run. A four-point Rock Top lead. As we knew what both of these teams bring. Right. Here's Elijah Hernandez. He's picked up by Marco Keppel. Phil Best gets a screen. Underneath, it's Traore. And a foul. It'll stay right here. And they're going to call that on Janik Harbeck underneath. So Seydou Traore is going to take it out. Up top, Phil Best passes it up. The three just off the mark from Winnick. And ball on the ground picked up by Charlo. And a foul there. That's going to be called on Seydou Traore for the reach. So Daniel Charlo will head to the line. He was one of the guys that we highlighted yesterday, being that big physical presence underneath. Definitely. Knocks down the first of the one in one try. 20 to 15, now a five point rock top lead. And it's now a nine point run that they've been on. That make it 10, 10 point, a 10 nothing run so far to start the second quarter for rock top. Yeah, that's the thing, the fact that OSL is getting into foul trouble already, that, that doesn't bode well for the rest of the quarter, Mike. Winnick, corner three, bang! That gets OSL on the board for the second quarter. Could that be the jump start? Here's Greer. Screen. Greer thought about it, makes the extra pass. Archie in the corner, bang! That home. Ryan Archie knocks down the three. Picks off the pass. Here we go. Step back. What makes the extra pass. pass for EJ Greer underneath. And Rock Top now taking control. Hernandez. Winnick. Hernandez. Mega energy right now in the building. Phil Best for three. Bangs it home with a foul. How about that for an answer? Isaiah Phil Best. What a shot. Pace is starting to pick up right here, Mike. <laughs> the, what did we say? What did we say, man? This is a very exciting basketball game. Rock Top making some changes. Looks like Harbeck, Keppo, and Charlo will take a seat. Lewis Vidal is checked back into the game. Big John Reason. John Green John is Green. back in. And Asmir Cates checks, back in, uh, checks in for Rock Top as well. OSL, OSL definitely has to get the, they, they gotta match Rock Top's energy, Mike. They have to. They have to. They're hitting, they're hitting some shots, yes, but Rock Top's energy right now, they are playing with confidence and they are, they are very, very poised. DJ Greer, the shot, no good ball on the floor, fighting for it, and what do we got here? They're gonna call it. We're gonna call Rock Top ball. Oh no. Another OSL ball. Here we go. And 
Hernandez. Vidal, hard on ball defense. Hernandez gets by, finds Traore in the corner, off the mark, rebounded, put right back up with the left hand by Amari Crib. And Rock Top will take a timeout, 26-24 in favor of Rock Top, but OSL in the last minute or so, they've exploded right back. So here we go with Rock Top. Archie. They're in a three-two the zone. They're trying to stop the threes. They're taking that ability away from Greer. EJ gets a good look. Bang! EJ Greer. He likes that spot yes, right there does. on the left wing. Yes, he does. They went to a three-two zone just because of that, and, they, and he still got a good shot. Outside, Winnick. Off the mark on the three, up and no good, but a foul. And that's gonna be Asmir Cates called for the foul. It's gonna send Amari Cribb to the line. Amari Cribb, he's been a big time impact uh, for OSL on the boards so far in this game. That big, that, I, I mean, really big kid. Yeah. <laughs> sure. I don't know where we got that information. Amari Cribb is not 6'5". No. He's more like 6'11". Yeah. Here's Ryan Archie. Archie. Hernandez playing up tight. Gets a screen by Green, and they're going to call the offensive foul moving screen Definitely on John Green. Screen. John Green has to make sure he is set. As a big man, it looks it looks even worse when you don't set your screen because it, it's, it's very noticeable. So he has to make sure that he sets that and then you know takes a nice roll to the basket. So Daniel Charlo will check into the game for John Green. 29-26 in favor of Rock Top. Three and a half minutes remaining in the first half. Underneath, Traore recovers. Hernandez kicks out, Philbest, open three. Bangs it home, Isaiah Philbest. Tie game at 29. Vidal, Charlo, poked away, turnover. Traore kicks outside, loses the ball, but it gains a right back. Traore loses it, but fouled. Interesting sequence there. Rock Top, I, I mean, that was a clear fast break, yeah. and they couldn't gain control of the basketball. So now that sends Seydoux Traore to the free throw line. Knocks down the first. Changes being made on both sides. Winnick and uh, Amari Cribb are checked out for OSL. As Jamal Morris is checked in for the first time in the game. And as well as Jamil Morris. And for Rock Top, Marco Keppo is checked into the game as well as Janik Harbeck. Keppo, double, fouled. That's Jamil Morris with the foul for OSL. So that's gonna send Marco Keppo to the line. Off the mark on the free throw. Nice play by Archie. It's a tough entry pass right there. Harbeck trapped, finds EJ Greer. And off the leg of Treori as he tried to sneak a pass. See, that's what I'm talking about in regards to his aggressiveness. His lack of aggressiveness going to the basket. He's more, EJ Greer is more comfortable. 
shooting jump shots than actually going to the basket. And he has to, he has to find a way to start getting comfortable being aggressive going to the rim. Charlo rejected. Well, stay with OSL. OSL and re has retaken the lead. It's 31-29 OSL. Ryan Williams is checked in for Jamal Morris. No, I'm sorry, for not for Jamal Morris. Phil Best, Traore against Charlo, goes up and can't finish. Rebounded by Archie, pushing the other way. Archie. And one. But they didn't get the foul on that end. So you, you had, a, had a questionable non call over here, and he got the call over here. So. so Ryan Williams heads to the line for one more. Phil Best and Trey Ori are checked out. Edwin Lenoris is checked in for OSL, as well as Quincy Platt. Misses the free throw. Archie weaving through traffic. Finds Harbeck in the corner. Here's EJ Greer. Cat ball. And they got Daniel Charlo there for a travel. See, in that situation, Mike, you want your big man to flash. You want your big man to flash to the middle to be able to be a standing target so you can be able to get things rotating around. Him. So hopefully we can see that in the next possession that we can get more flashes. Tough basket. Good defense. A lot of physicality under the rim. Definitely. We're also letting them play a little bit down there, though. Oh, the loose ball foul. Oh, that foul on Jamal Morris. And Marco Keppo ends up back to the line. Makes the first of the one. -on -one. Knocks down the second. 33-31. With about a minute to play here in the first half. Ryan Williams. To Jameel Morris. Platt. Strong to the rim. Quincy Platt with the finish. Greer. Keppo, nice. dumps it off, Charlo, strong to the rim. Daniel Charlo with the finish. <laughs> 20 seconds. Morris, 15 seconds, guarded by Keppo. Down to 10, 7, 5, to the corner, 3, no good, tip, and no good. And that is how the first half ends, an eventful first half with OSL Prep leading Rock Top Academy 35 to 33. I mean, they're getting a lot of contributions from a bunch of different guys. Yeah, definitely a scoring by committee type of situation. And, and, and listen, there's no Okay, how about Ryan Archie? He is to start down. He is phenomenal, man. He really is. No, no fear. It doesn't matter what big is in the paint, he's gonna challenge that guy. Alright, so we're tied 35 apiece.
Traore. We definitely would love to see a little bit more aggression from Traore in this half. By way of rock top. Off the miss from Edwin Lenoris. Tempo. Nice right hand, no good. It's nice save by nice Rear. Charlo gets fouled Great underneath. Pass. Great pass. Daniel Charlo, big bodied, big from Rock Top Academy. Listen, like I said, Marco Keppel, he, he is just, he just, he, he's just energy. He's everywhere. Frenetic energy, that's what it is. And, and I'm telling you, when I used to play, even when we played rec ball, it's the guy that has that frenetic energy you just don't want no part of. You really don't, because they, they're the ones that just up the, the pressure, they up the tempo, they make you raise your game. Morris to Morris. Traore picks outside. Another pass. This one for three off the mark. And it'll go by way of Rock Top off the hands of Traore underneath. Definitely need to see a little bit more aggression out of Traore today. He has been a bit quiet early on. Definitely has. Archie. Nice save. Keppo. Back to Archie. Outside, it's EJ. Greer pulls up from two, bangs it home. Listen, I, I you talk about it all the time. You're not a huge fan that he settles for those shots but his ability to make those shots is equally as impressive. Well, listen, I, I like that particular shot. When, he, when he's out there settling for long threes, those are the shots that, that are you know pretty low percentage. That's a great move. Nice finish there by Lenores for OSL. And Rock Top calls timeout after the trap of Archie. It is a 38-37 Rock Top lead. We are two minutes into the third quarter. Very high pace between these two teams. There really hasn't been much of a, of a slower tempo right. in this game. Keppo lost the ball, pleading with the ref. And a slam on the other end by Isaiah Philbest. Greer, Fidel, back to Keppo. Greer, three. E.J. Greer, he's got the stroke today. Pure. 41 to 39, Rock Top leads. Morris. Here's Jamil Morris for three. And the save, it's off on Keppo. A nice play by Phil Best. Throwing it off the, le uh, the legs of Marco Keppo. Definitely a heady play. Were you the guy that did that? You were the guy that throws it off the guy's legs? Or head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever body part works. <laughs> <Right. laughs> Here's it out to Phil Best. Underneath Lenores. Right hand. He's got long arms, that kid. Yes, he does. EJ, nice pass to Archie. Archie pulls up. That looks like it's going to be a two. You don't mind a shot like that, though, Mike. Good defense by Good Archie. Defense, EJ, Archie, chase down Lenores. Didn't get there in time, but a good job by Lenores to not needlessly foul on that play. Archie's a heck of a player, man. I said it yesterday that he makes D1 uh, uh, decisions. He makes D1 layups. He just makes, he's just a phenomenal, phenomenal player. Great rebound, rebound by Charlo. Great rebound by Charlo. DJ finds Archie. Archie tries to get into Vid uh, Vidal, but it's intercepted. Here we go, Jamil Morris, easy layup in transition. Jamil Morris for OSL getting on the board. It's a great, it's a great game we have going here, Mike. It's a phenomenal basketball game. Very back and forth. Vidal. 
Charlo. He drives in and offensive foul. That's what it looked like to me. It looks like Charlo came in a little hot, ran right into Edwin Lenora's. A little bit out of control. So 43-41 in favor of Rock Top. Janik Harbeck is checking in for Louis Vidal. I'm sorry, for, uh, for Greg Paulus. Greg Paulus, 2.0. <laughs> Greg Paulus and Imani Bates. <laughs> Jamal Morris. Nice. Lenores, left hand. And Charlo is going to get called for a foul here. So the Rock Top coach doesn't like it. What do you think? Is that. Uh, I, I mean, there, there was contact there, but there was a, you know initiated contact so you could probably let that particular play go but you know some 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 refs like to call that particular type of play where you know the offensive player initiates the contact can go either way drops both good defense by Traore Elijah Hernandez and Ryan Williams checking in for Lenores and Isaiah Philbest. Archie. Harbeck. Keppo. Archie hoists up a three. Bang! Ryan Archie once again from three. Williams, short. Greer, pushing, hard, gets inside. Left go. hand, EJ go. Greer. There you go. You know, that's Clear what lane. Like that's what I like to see, to the basket. Use that length. Jump shot, that's a tough shot. They have Go OSL reeling Rock right now. It's a five point lead for Rock Top, 48 43. And a timeout is called by OSL. And Rock Top is feeling it. Back up. Go. 
the breeze, so I'd like to see him get back to, you know, getting back to the room. So OSL starts out with the basketball here in the fourth quarter. Hernandez hoists up a big three, and it's in a roll out of bounds and it, as it hits the top of the backboard. And Rock Top will take it right back with a one-point lead. Here's Ryan Archie. These have been the two guys right here in the, in the uh, uh, in the backcourt, E.J. Greer and Ryan Archie. Greer's shot is a little short. Hernandez, Williams, Winnick. Finds Traore, Traore steps outside, good. Sadu Traore, there he is, mid-range. E.J. Harbeck, three, off the mark. And the rebound for OSL. 56-55 OSL, Traore to the corner. Winnick, three, no good. Rebounded by Greer, pushing it up. Intercepted, Hernandez. Finds some space and a nice play. What a play, Elijah Hernandez inside. Way to stay with it. 
So he has a chance here to make it a two possession game. With this free throw, it's 58-55 OSL. A great play by Elijah Hernandez. Jamal Morris is checked in. Edwin Lenores is checked in as well. Archie to Greer. He's going to get the foul call. That's on Elijah Hernandez. So Greer will take it out. It's a 59-55 game. OSL has the lead. Charlotte, EJ for three, long. Rebound by Williams, here we go. Ooh. And an errant pass just over the head of Edwin Lenores. So a turnover there by Ryan Williams and it's gonna go back to Rock Top. That's a tough one, that, that was a you know, tough pass to make. Tough pass to catch. Got a little bit uh, excited on that. Call a travel on EJ Greer. Yeah, it came down before you passed it. From the corner, three, no good. Great Williams and a foul on Charlotte. Great That's clear as day. Daniel Charlo, that's foul number five for Charlo. So, so Daniel Charlo fouls out. Louis Vidal will check in. A great play underneath by Edwin Lenores. I love the aggressiveness by Archie. Love the fact that he's still pushing it. Still trying to put pressure on the back end of that defense. Archie inbounding. And Goodell with a steal. Hernandez, good defensive play. Throwing it off Kilter, here's Jamal Morris. Ryan Williams picked up by Vidal. And an errant pass right there. Gives the ball back to Rock Top, five and a half minutes remaining. Still a six point OSL lead. For those of you just joining us, OSL is in the yellow, Rock Top in the black, and we have had one hell of a game here. Whistle blows. And sub is being made. Jamil Morris is checked in. It'll take out Edwin Lenores. Archie trying to find somebody. Finds Harbeck. Gets the ball right back here in the corner. From the free throw line, it's a tough shot. Tough shot. And it's gonna stay with Rock Top. They've been guarding Archie really, really good the last, you know, six minutes or so, man. They've been doing a good job. Oh, 
Underneath, Harbeck, just too hard off the glass. Lydell, good take. Strong take. Nice play there by Phil Best. Lydell going for the contest. Here's Greer. Keppo, three from the corner. No good. Offensive foul. And they're going to call it here on Lewis Vidal. It is 61 to. No, I don't think that's right. It should be 63 to 55, right? There we go. We got it right. 63 55. Eight point game. It's Jamal Morris going to the line, and here we go. Now, the fourth quarter, OSL seems to have recovered. Rock Top has gotten a bit sloppy here in the fourth quarter. Yeah. It's sloppy, you know, contested shots. We're not getting quality shots in this quarter here. OSL starting to pull away. And, you know, the, 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 game, the game is, uh, you know, the, 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 the officiating has, you know, it can go either way sometimes. Rock Top will take it back after the miss. 64-55. Nine-point game here. Rock Top still very much in it. 445 remaining in the game. And dangerous pass. Greer trapped. OSL's, OSL's intensity has definitely risen. You see that they stepping up on that right. Definitely, definitely. Asmir Cates will take it out for Rock Top. Archie. Archie gets fouled. They're going to call a block here on Elijah Hernandez. So they'll take it out underneath. John Green back to Archie. Keppo, Archie, three. That's short. Rebounded Greer. Can't finish. And recovered by Hernandez. OSL pushing. Nice pass. Nice. Underneath, another pass. Jamal Morris, it's now a double digit OSL lead. 66 to 55 over Rock Top. So technical free throws here for Ryan Archie. Makes first. Maybe that'll get him going. This so these, going. these are free throws you have to, you gotta make, right? Absolutely. These are free points. Absolutely. He makes two of these, it's a nine point game. And he does, Ryan Archie coming up clutch. Listen, Ryan Archie, I mean, you can make the case, has been, tough I mean, he's been, he has been one of the most impressive players just as far as performance this weekend. that we've seen, yeah. seen this weekend. Absolutely, absolutely. Archie, that's a tough play. Turnover, Hernandez, it's 3v1. The lob, no good. Case, foul. Bailed out of that one, but he, he had he had some some of his teammates up there. You gotta see him. You gotta get that ball out there. That's Ryan Williams on the foul, and Asmir Cates will go to the line here for Rock Top. This is now a 66-57 game, and this is an opportunity to make it a seven-point game, Absolutely. giving Rock Top a four-nothing run out of the timeout. Makes the first. Listen, the most important thing is that the clock has stopped. And they're getting these points. Yeah, that's 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 what they're looking for. Really phenomenal yeah. stuff. So if OSL is going to continue to make mistakes like that, Rock Top can get right back in this game without any time coming off the clock. Right that's dangerous right there. It's 66-59. Here we go, Hernandez. Hard press. Morris. Back to Hernandez. Guarded by Keppo. Double team. Keppo. And they're going to call the foul here on. That's going to be Asmir Cates. They shoot free throws, Mike. Morris 
missed the free throw. So Rock Top gets away with one right there. Here's EJ Greer, gets a screen. Nice fake, Greer, no good. Rebounded into the hands of Archie. Floater, no good, rebounded OSL. Phil Best, back to Morris. Phil Best gets a screen, mid-range look, good, Isaiah Phil Best. Good looking shot. Knocks down the mid-range. Good looking shot. Here's EJ, drives inside. No good, can't get the roll, he wanted the foul. Here's Ryan Williams. Nice move. Clear lane to the basket. Can't make. Tough roll. Keppo. Rock top not giving up here. Iron ball back court. Asmir Cates. Two and a half minutes, nine point OSL lead. Traore, right hand, nice finish. Sadu Traore. 70 to 59, OSL starting to mount a lead. Archie, rejected but fouled. If he gets any daylight, Mike, he's gone, gone. He's got that quick, he's got a quick first down. Amazing. Knocks down the first. Change is being made. John Green is checked out. Asmir Cates checked out for Rock Top. It's Louis Vidal and Janik Harbeck checked in for Rock Top. Knocks it down. 70 to 61, it's back to nine points. 2.15. Tough pass. Traore. Jamil Morris. There's Jamal Morris working on Greer. Nice Traore, pass. nice pass and the slam by Edwin Lenores. Play has to be stopped shortly. So 2.03 left here in the game. An 11 point deficit for Rock Top here. Archie kicks outside. EJ. EJ hoists up a three. Off the mark. Rebound goes to OSL. Phil Best. Lenores, long arms, dumps it off. No. Traore, finish. That might be all That might right. be the nail in the coffin. Here's Jameel Morris, throwing it down. Jameel Morris. And now it's a 15 point OSL lead. Foul called here on this end of the floor. It's gonna be Seydou Traore with the foul. And EJ Greer is gonna to go to the line. So listen, you know, we're at the point now where, you know, there's a minute 16 remaining in the game. It's now a 15 point OSL lead. They've had one heck of a fourth quarter to close this game out. This is gonna be one of those games where the score doesn't reflect how close this game actually was. Yeah, I think, I think you know, for the first three quarters, we saw a very, very tightly contested game, but what ends up happening is that that physicality, that size, that length, it wears on you, and Rock Top just did not get any quality shots in this quarter. You know, you, uh, OSL made it really, really difficult on them in this quarter. That size really started to weigh on them, and when Charlo got out of the game, that was it. After the turnover, step back, blocked. Underneath, they're gonna 
They're going to call Edward Lenor, uh, Edwin Lenores for an off-ball foul here. And E.J. Greer will go to the line once again. 76-62 is the score with 102 remaining. Greer makes the first. It's now a 13-point game. Knocks down the second. 76-64. They're gonna foul Edwin Lenora's. 59.8 remaining, and now I think we're we're just in foul territory now. Absolutely. It's about making your free throws, closing this game out, and enjoying the victory. John Green is checking in. Louis Vidal will check out. And he makes the second. Archie gets inside, finishes through contact. Even in the loss, he looks great. John Green will foul Isaiah Philbest. And Philbest will go to the line for two. 77-66 with 45 seconds left. So let's recap the game a little bit, Barry, as you know, as the clock starts to wind down, the finishing plays uh, take place. Philbest makes the first. You know, we didn't see much from uh, from Seydou Traore, who was the presumed uh, star player for OSL. We heard a lot about him going into the game. But again, like we said before, this was a big time team effort by our savior. Absolutely. Scoring by committee, the defense stepped up big in the fourth quarter. They, you know, they started hitting timely shots towards the end of the third quarter. Winnick got them back in the game, and they never looked back, honestly. Well, I guess I'm never going to say that again. <laughs> How about that for Sadu Traore throwing it down? Three, good, Archie. Defense slowed, 10 seconds winding down. Janik Harbeck hit a three for Rock Top of four. And they will dribble out the clock here. As this will turn into a real solid win for OSL Prep over Rock Top Academy. An 81 to 72 victory, a nine point OSL win. And listen, like I said, nine points is deceptive. It was really the fourth quarter that made the difference where OSL exploded. I mean, this was a very, very close and athletic game. I think it was everything that we expected it to be.